It's funny in respect to music collaborations. I've said this a number of times. You think you have such a wonderful first impression, right? That perfectly introduces you to somebody's full capabilities as, a, as an artist. But then you, if you're me, you know, you note those names for later that come across as first introductions and you decide one day to investigate further. And upon that second introduction, you realize I had no clue what I was in for. That's Lauren Hart in a nutshell, I feel. As I said, you know, in terms of my foundation with entrance to her, it was through the Camelot collaborations with both uh, Phantom Divine, uh, Shadow Empire, and Mindfall Remedy. And as I said, she really proved herself there on both counts, on tracks I've given several repeat listens to now, that I said at the time, don't be surprised if I look at some of her other groups. And one I know she's with currently in terms of their uh, new lineup. They haven't published anything new recently as far as I'm aware. I will keep an eye on them, though. Maybe one day uh, feature them as well. But Once Human has some more recent offerings. And again, like I said, I want to be able to broaden out my understanding of Lauren Hart. And I thought, you know, going in, okay, she's a very talented, clean vocalist, as well as an unclean vocalist, especially. Again, she really proved herself for me in that respect on Mindfall Remedy. But even with that, and she's the first Australian artist, by the way, that or I think Australian-based, that I've had the privilege to uh, humor on the channel. Many of you know, especially in regards to music coverage, and I love being able to make these types of videos. Music is very much a passion project for me, especially in bringing it to a grander focus here and sharing in the experience of you. I love that with the, the fellowship spirit that music can offer, especially on first introductions. I love that. I love taking the international route, as many of you know, because it's not just in the U.S. we have plenty of talent. I mean, I've come across, I spent so much time, let's say, the European scene. That's kind of what connected me to Camelot in the beginning. Uh, at this point, South America I've been introduced to, New Zealand I know of one, and now Australia. I just love, you know, trotting around. <laughs> but I am glad I came across Lauren Hart. Easy repeat listen on part of Camelot's credits, but uh, coming off of Deadlock? Impressive. I had no clue she was so skilled in a vocal variability on the unclean side, where it takes on a more melodic flair. That was a nice surprise. And of course, again, you know, she's got a rich scream and a growl, but just the shakeups, the pitch changes. Incredibly effective, with a good track to boot uh, on, on music creation and structuring, and a good vision on part of the lyrical storytelling, very relevant. I wonder if Scarweaver is going to go down the same path. I haven't looked into interpretation uh, to see what the song's about, if it's been offered publicly, or um, read the lyrics in depth. So this is very much a first introduction in a number of respects. But it's a second introduction in part of four I've uh, currently lined up with Once Human. And based on Deadlock, I can't wait to dig fervor. Again, as I said, you know, I had a great first introduction of Camelot. I knew Lauren Hart would be a fun talent to humor, and I decided to fast track, because again, I was just so elated on the experience. And I hope you feel the same, right? If this is going to be, I'd imagine a number of you, because I am covering this album a bit later, post its debut, um, you're approaching as an informed listener of theirs, and of course, I welcome your company. I do hope for some of you, though, as well, that you are approaching on a first-name basis with them. And we're experiencing first introductions and respect together, though I've already had one entrance of humoring them, an incredibly talented, aggressive metal band, and that easily engages with me as somebody who prefers fresh metal. Though I keep an open door, as many of you know, uh, to anything, really. Once Human fully delivered for me, though, in every respect. I was quite impressed with that first entrance. So, let's repeat with a second. Scar Weaver, the title track of the album. I love the name. This also on the album listing is immediately following Deadlocks. Let's see where the, on energy it goes. I'm imagining it's going to go to the harsher side. I've been told, maybe there's going to be some variability with the album and scope. I don't know for sure. Um, I said I'm only covering four works in selection. I'll probably listen to the entire thing myself eventually as well. But, maybe dig into their past library, too, for sure. But I hope for those of you who this is going to be a first introduction for uh, Lauren Hart and Once Human, you have as fun of a time as I did upon first entrance. But let's take a second you know, performance together. Take that in with uh, Scar Weaver. Let me get it ready. All right. Here we go. Okay, slower entrance. We still got that intensity. An elegant introduction on visual. Interesting snare, especially paired with the key choice. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I like the slower delivery. Oh, I like that background manga. It's subtle. It almost sounds like there's a dual layering from another, another screamer. This is just straight metal. <laughs> Again, like I said, that exercise and the variability. Such an elegant flow to the screen. If you want to call it elegant. <laughs> but isn't it just beautiful? And way to make use of a smaller environment in terms of the filming. But it's almost like a, like a museum room, at least this is what comes across to me, but... They just gave it such a unique life. That slower structure is a great asset to this song. With respect to amplifying vocal talent. And showing the intricacies of the riffs as well. Especially on this. Just take that snare structure in. That's impressive. As I said with the setting choice, I know in just simple form, this is just a room that they, they they probably went somewhere in, you know, like, it looks to me like a, like a museum gallery window or something. They, they put their logos on, maybe some decorations. But they just gave this room such a unique life and personality. It's so cool in terms of visual setting. Makes for a fun performance, for sure. And you sense that intensity and passion. I admire that in music. I really do, especially from the bands that I've consulted. And as I've said many times, there's not been one artist or song that I've not liked. Once Human certainly qualifies. Just on entrance, it's a slower song too, which is funny because then you sit there and you think to yourself, uh, the song is only, what? Nearly four and a half minutes in duration. It feels shorter. It's so funny because you think again, it, it's a slower song. It's like the, the rhythm to it, the basis, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to have that throttle, that comparison, you know, Deadlock did. And yet it almost does. Because I think, again, in a large part of the accompaniment of the riff structure, and probably the vocals as well. But even the vocals are paced slower. I think it's mostly due to the riffs and the percussion. But it's a nice temptation that mixes with your senses. 
I really like the delivery of this piece. And I will also speak on the vocal credit, balancing, the layering. She has, Lauren has this background. I don't know if anybody else heard it, but again, it's subtle, but there's an intersection of like another layer. Or it feels like that with her voice. It was almost like maybe a draw comparable. I, I thought this when I was listening to it. I, I didn't treat it at the time, but almost like for anybody who knows uh, Demon Hunter, Ryan Clark, favorite of mine uh, as a band. Oh, Ryan Clark, especially as a vocalist. He's been around for about 20 years, um, big in the Christian rock scene. Demon Hunter is a dominant name. I almost felt like he was coming in on part of her vocals, but you're like, no, there's no guest artist here. It's just strictly Lauren. She's so talented in this space. Truly a force of nature and metal. I admire her greatly. It's an impassioned performance. And Scar Weaver has an interesting philosophy too. I mean, I like the way it's written on lyrics and it, it's very strong. It's it's uh, dark, bone of this, again, it's slower pacing of the lyrics. I loved how this works. Bone of this flesh grown cold, the crypt of a dying world. Where's that? I see no tomb beyond my own concrete. Wow. Just going by interpretation, though, at least from one, you know, I like to get in the heart of the, the lyrics uh, and the artists when offered and not impose my own thoughts unless otherwise, you know, uh, cataloged as such. And I always try to provide that attribution if it's necessary. If I understand the philosophy of this song, this is dealing with tribulations of sorts in life. At least I'm reading a quote from my, I think it's uh, just on a quick reference search, song meanings. Uh, we all go through life creating scars onto others. Is, yeah, from their bass player. This is who it cited from. Or Damien Renaud? Renaud? Forget if I'm mispronouncing the name. We all go through life creating scars onto others. Bad scars and good scars. We all are scar weavers. So we should adopt that as a name. <laughs> oh, I'm a scar weaver. <laughs> it's crafty. I'm a bit of an originalist myself. So you know, I wouldn't mind doing it. <laughs> if it's true, you know, in philosophy, that certainly is. And a match with the, with the lyrics. Yeah. Scar Weaver, sow the flesh on my fears. Yeah. That song does manifest that idea quite well, whatever those scars might be. And it's written, I guess, in a broad sense. It's not specified. I'm sure you could probably make... I do this with songs of the time. You could plug in attributions if so deserved. And there are maybe points that that is acceptable um it's, but it's still written extensively in a broad manner and for sure it's a charming asset i, I in my opinion because again it gives it that wide applicability i just love how it's written though but on musical delivery again i i love the presence to it in the invention the slower rhythm the slower vocals to match on lyrical delivery the layering but the it, the illusion with a quickened riff that keeps the speed accelerated. And great visual delivery as well, and part of making it just an enticing video with an ominous presence that befits the idea of the song to some manner and the lyrical. It's a good compliment. Sound is factory package, entirely. Great second entrance with Scar, with um, uh, uh, Once Human. And definitely is starting to show dimension in presence. Not just in maybe genre, right? And that could be a trait. You know, we'll see. Maybe there are some songs that are a bit softer. Maybe it's all just hard agitation. And I'd like that, for sure. Although I would be open to the ever, you know, if so, uh, um, entertained. But on a second entrance, I'm quite thrilled at seeing a growth taking place, in my understanding, again, not just with Lauren Hart, but the band as well. Quite acceptable metal, in my opinion. I'm very impressed with the delivery of Scar Weaver. Again, I love the philosophy and the name. That that name just sticks with you. I'd love to hear if it's a similar response for you down below. And whatever angle you approach, whether you're a long-time listener, just, uh, <laughs> once human. I keep wanting to say Scar Weaver. Uh, or you're a fresh listener. I'd love to hear about it down below and your feedback in the piece, again, if you wish to, dis or wish to disclose your perspective. Easy temptation to humor more. As I've said, I've got two more tracks lined up in consideration of this group to get a deeper perspective. Next is uh, Erasure. Ooh. Okay, I like these names for the tracks that they have. There's something special about this album, but in experience, man, I'm having a great time. I love what I'm hearing on part of uh, being introduced to Once Human. 
This is some great metal, in my opinion. I knew it would be of Lauren Hart's capabilities, but the band generally, the vision's expanding. Your sense of uh, capabilities are expanding. It's quite interesting. It, it, it's a fascinating entrance with Scar Weaver to see that delivery made manifest with such satisfactory offerings. I'm thrilled to dig down deeper. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.